Do you know what South African money looks like? Well, I'm going to break it down and show you all the notes I use. Hey, in case you have been watching the channel, been seeing me go around Johannesburg, South Africa, showing you how beautiful of a place this is. And most importantly, you have been seeing me talk about success, what it is and how to get it in the three areas of life that I focus on, which are happiness, health and wealth. If you're new to the channel, the definition of success is the progressive realization, realization of a worthy idea. And that was by Earl Nightingale. And, you know, if you start traveling, man, like one of those worthy ideas you got to start understanding is how do you spend your money there? Now, <clears throat> so this is this video here is mainly for Americans. I want to be honest with you. I know I have a lot of brothers and sisters watching from South Africa, Botswana and other areas. And if you are watching like in India and some of the other countries, kind of people in Colombia, stuff like that, then this could be helpful for you. But it's mainly for people who will come to visit South Africa. So it's not uh, the usual video of me talking about certain things, uh, what I like or, or what I've done in South Africa. And so for this one, I really want to break down the money, especially now because there's, there's some new notes in circulation. And uh, me and the guy down the street who owns one of the, uh, the corner stores, we were laughing and joking about it. God told him, he, he was like, man, the guy's trying to give me fake, man. I'm like, oh, so now you're trying to give it to me. And we were just joking about it, but then it dunned on me. What if, what if someone haven't been in South Africa for a year like me? How would they know if the money's real or fake? Now, so I just, that's why I was like, you know what? Let me just show you some of the money that I actually have. Now, I will say this as a caveat, if you're coming from the U.S., Johannesburg, uh, honestly, most of South Africa, Johannesburg, well, I'm going to speak for Johannesburg. Johannesburg is, it's easily about a 70 to 85% cash free country. Meaning you don't have to have a lot of bills on you. You don't need to be worried about exchanging money and things like that. Uh, if you're using tap and stuff like that, it works exactly here. So it's really good, man. So <clears throat> for me, I'll be honest with you, I don't keep a lot of cash at all. I usually only get out what I need and when I need it. 99% uh, of the time, I'm just using my um, phone and I just tap. So, like how it is, sometimes like for me, and it's something I had to get used to actually, if um, something goes wrong with the tap or my phone ain't working right or the network isn't working good because of low shit, and there's plenty of times I just have to walk off and just leave my stuff there and come back another day. And I kind of like it, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I used to think like, oh man, it's, I feel poor or something. But now that I do it often, it's just safe, yo. Like, not having cash on you at all, it's very, very safe. Like, you don't need to even carry a wallet here. Like, that's how, the, you know, as far as money and bank cards and things like that, if you use a phone or something like that, you can just tap. So I just want to let you know that right offhand. This is a pretty good, really good um, cash-free country here. Sorry guys, the lighting is horrible right now and it's low shedding. And so let's get to the first note. This is the 10 Rand note. Well, actually, no, let me go with the change first. I'm just gonna show you the five Rand and this is what it looks like. And the reason why I'm just showing you this one is because I don't think many Americans would use the other, all the coins and stuff. And this is just coming from my travels as an expat living in Central and South America. I just noticed most Americans don't use the coins at all. So that's why I'm showing you this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, what I love about the five Rand coin, I use this when I'm going to market. So like I usually have like a pocket full of them or have a bunch in my bag. And I usually just save, save them up and then one whole day I'll just go and I use all of them at the marketplace. So that just makes it real easy right there. Because most of the stuff at the market is like five or ten Rand. So just two coins for a bag of um, apples and stuff like that. So next up is the 10 Rand note. So this is what that looks like. And then you see the little water, the uh, raised seal with the rhino. And then here's the rhino on the back. And this is the 10 Rand note. Then we have the 20 Rand note. And that's what it looks like. And then on the back of the 20 Rand is an elephant. And so that's just two of those notes. So like these two notes now, 30 Rand, this is maybe a dollar 75 or a dollar 80, something like that. If you want the, it's like $1 is like 
two grand right now. So a little bit, one of these is less, a little bit uh, more than a dollar. So next up is the 50 Rand. Now the 50 Rand, there's two notes in circulation right now. So I'm gonna show you both. This is the old note. And it has a lion on the back. And then this one here is the new note. I really like this one, man. It looks really cool. Make sure I can pull it back some. So this is this note, and this is what it looks like on the back now. Really cool note. Then we have the 100 Rand note. I think that's the wildebeest there on the back of that one. And then we have the 200 Rand note. I have not seen a note over 200 Rand, and this one has the cheetah, I believe. I haven't seen a note bigger than this, so this is the biggest note I've ever seen here. I don't know if they have bigger notes, uh, but like I say, because I don't deal with too much cash at all, it don't really bother me, <laughs> to be honest with you. And the very few times that I do need cash, like I'm not dealing with anything that I need um, larger than a two or a 100 note. So that's just to show you some of the money. Now, I wanna break the fourth wall of content creation for a minute, and I'm gonna just address you directly. And I just wanna say like, look at this video, man. This is how simple content creation can be. And I'm just literally taking just a very simple part of my life of traveling uh, of here in South Africa, and I'm just sharing it with you. Something as simple as just sharing with you, what do the notes look like that I'm using here? Like, that's how simple content creation can become now. Uh, and the reason why I'm saying this is because I know there's a lot of people out there that wants to get involved, that wants to get into content creation, they want to start building their influence on social media. However, there's so much BS out here telling you, you need this strategy, you need this piece of equipment, you need to use this type of technology. And I'm just telling you, all you need to do is just cut your phone on and hit record, hit record, and just start talking about something in your life. How was your day? Like if you saw my TikTok earlier, man, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> But I've been trying to dry clothes in this wash. It's a wash and dryer, it's a wash and dryer all in one. I don't understand it. I don't understand how this thing even works. Uh, I'm so not used to it. And because I'm getting ready to leave, I'm not using my laundry service anymore. So for two days, man, I've been trying to dry clothes. And I just, I was so frustrated, <laughs> frustrated that I just laughed. And I was like, you know what? Let me just make this into content. Like, let me just, life is giving me lemons. I'm going to turn this into some lemonade. And I just turned it into content. And then somebody uh, actually commented on there who has that same type model. They explained to me how to work it a little bit better. So I'm going to try it out after once electricity come back on. But, like, really think about that. I made a piece of content about me not being able to, not knowing how to use the washer and dryer to dry my clothes for two days now. Like, that's how simple content creation can be. Uh, I really want people to understand, like, don't overthink it. Don't make it more than what it needs to be. And don't be throwing money into it until it's time to throw money into it. When you're making money, then you start reinvesting that money. Like, I'm all about ROI. ROI. What is the return of interest? And you'll start seeing, once you start seeing the return of interest, you'll start seeing avenues of where you should invest, who you should invest, and the type of advanced strategies and tips you should be doing. And just wait until that time. Like, I just really want to paint that home. And so, hope you had a great day. Hope you got some value from this. If you want to see any other stuff, um, if you have any other questions about money and Joe Bird, uh, just let me know. Well, South Africa is the same country, shoot. Uh, just let me know, and I'll see if I can get some get information for you. But most importantly, just hit the like button. That lets me know you like this type of content so I can keep creating more of this around, especially as I'm going through other countries starting next month. And if you want to know how the money's looking in there, those situations, the money looking in those countries and things like that, that way it'll let me know to start creating more content around that. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe now. That way you can see updated videos like this every day. I do post a video every day. Most of the time I'm posting like one video where I'm talking to you like this and about seven to 10 shorts where I'm actually just breaking down uh, little small nuggets of things. And most importantly, just remember this, I'm Jason and success is simple once you know how.